Valeria, my parents are uh, European, and when they moved uh, to uh, North America, they had to learn English. They went to night school class. Now, is it true that you got a lot of your English training uh, because of an operation? Yes, absolutely. When I was 13, I did uh, my first operation, yes, in Chicago. And um, yes, I had to learn. You had a, a fairly successful career in Europe when you uh, decided to come to the U.S. I mean fairly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yes, I was working, yes. And uh, was that a, a scary thing for you to do? And, and, and how, what was your first week like uh, in, in the Hollywood business? Well, first of all, no, it was not a scary thing. Just because, I mean, I was very excited about coming to American work. But it, I can't say that it was like my, my life dream. You know, some people have this kind of the American dream, I have to make it a, uh, it was never like that for me. The moment that they asked me to do the, my first movie in America, I said, yes, fine, great. Uh, but also, you know, the first week of my first movie in America was Pee Wee's Big Top. So, yeah. I mean, I was surrounded by animals and Pee Wee and crazy people and circus people. And it was just so, so, it was like more like a party than anything else, so it wasn't fearful. Okay. Was uh, the experience of, of that film, because I know it wasn't as successful as the first one, uh, was that disappointing to you? I mean, I was disappointed that it, it didn't go well. Uh, it was not disappointing at all to work with Pee Wee Herman, because uh, he's great. But uh, I thought the movie could have been much better. No, uh, I really enjoyed you in Rain Man, and uh, I've always liked women with accents, but I'm mm -hmm. just wondering, after that film, did you find that the fact that you had an accent, did that make some producers, casting agents reluctant to hire you? Definitely, yes, yeah. absolutely. I mean, the, I've done six movies in America. The times that I've been hired, it was a lot because of my accent, and the times that I've been rejected, it is a lot because of my accent, you know, for the same reason. Now, uh, The Hot Shots, the, the first film, a huge success. Mm -hmm. um, th was that, were you surprised that it was successful as it was? Uh, I was not, uh, no, I wasn't, to tell you the truth, because when I saw the screening, the first screening with the public, it was so clear that people just loved it and, it, and they were, you know, having a good time that I thought this movie should go well. I was very surprised when Rainman went as well as he went. That, that yes, with hot shots, no. How did you find that men reacted to you after the Hot Shots film? I mean, were you getting a lot of comments, or uh, was that? Did I, I guess what I'm saying is, did people react to you more after that film than your other films? I mean, yeah, they reacted in a more open way because the movie is so kind of, it just punches you in the face. I mean, the, the scenes that I had in the first movie, they were, they were so kind of uh, extreme that people reacted in the same way. It's different when you go to somebody and say, I liked you in that serious movie, and it's different when you, they liked, you know, the olive scene. And they're going to say, my God, the olive, you know, it's just, it's the kind of movie that takes these kind of reactions. I like it. Okay. Now, I I've, uh, was on a movie set one time where, when they were firing uh, automatic weapons. And I was amazed at how loud they are. Now, you had to do a lot of uh, firing of guns in that movie. Was that something you found a little, a little uncomfortable, all the noise? Uh, we had uh, things in our ears. <laughs> yes, it is, it's more uncomfortable, the weight of them, than, than the noise, because you, you can't hear anything. You can even hear the director, which is great. I mean, you can hear anybody. <laughs> You're in your own thing. 